I said I wasn't gonna lose my head, but then pop goes my heart. Pop goes my heart. I don't know how the rest goes. Welcome to Family Movie Night. I'm Shan. I'm Kelly. And it was my pick again, and I wanted to do a romantic comedy for Valentine's Day. So I picked a romantic comedy that came out on Valentine's Day in 2007, Music and Lyrics, starring Hugh Grant and Drew Barrymore. And I'm just going to read the IMDb description written by Jay Haley at Hotmail.com, because it's very well written. Cheery Alex Fletcher lives comfortably in Manhattan off the residuals from his 80s pop success and reprising his hits at school reunions, theme parks, and state fairs. But those gigs are declining, so he jumps at the chance to write a song and record it with reigning teen idol Cora Corman. Trouble is, he's good at melodies but needs a lyricist and has less than a week to finish. Enter Sophie Fisher, subbing for a friend who waters Alex's plants. She's a pretty good poet, quick-witted, and could do it if she'd agree. But there's some sort of shadow over her head that Alex may not be able to charm his way past. And what if they do get a song written? What then? Uh, yeah, so I remember we went to go see this in the theater and it was really fun. So I'm gonna let you start, Kelly. Okay, well... <laughs> I... I love this movie, um, cause... Okay, Hugh Grant, absolutely love him. I don't know how long I've been a fan of his, but long time. Um, I love a lot of his stuff, especially like the romantic comedy stuff. And Drew Barrymore, she is my girl. Like, I would put her up there as one of my favorite actresses for real, y'all. Um, I especially love all the romantic comedies. And then, like, you know, she was in Scream. That's, like, one of my favorite movies. So, I just absolutely love her. Um, they... They were so good together in this movie, um, and I like the supporting cast. Um, Lord, I can't think of anybody's name. You got that dude that's from a, a, a comedy show, and you got the girl that's from a comedy show. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> Brad Garrett from Everybody <laughs> Loves Raymond, and Kristen Johnston, Johnson from uh, Third Rock from Third the Rock Sun. from the Sun. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they're really great. I mean, everybody's just great in this movie. Um, I even like Cora Corman. She's kind of, I don't know, weird, but I like her character. It's kind of funny. And then you've got all kinds of other musicians that are being named off. So it's like, you know, like it's in the real world. Because you got what? Uh, he's going to do a show with the 80s has-beens, and you got, like, Flock of Seagulls, and other <laughs> 80s has-beens. Debbie Gibson, <laughs> Tiffany. It's like, what is it? Battle of the... Adam Ant. Oh, yeah. And so all that's kind of fun, and then there's the mention of Shakira. I do remember that, and there was a mention of Timberlake. I do remember that. And I, there's probably some other folks that was mentioned. But I love the music of this movie. Just, I love the 80s pop music video. That was kind of awesome. I love the little dance I don't even, I don't even remember now. <laughs> um, I love the little dance moves. I like when he's playing on the keyboard and he's all... <laughs> I just think it's cute. Um, and I love the song that they, they end up writing together. It's cool and... I even like the Cora Corman's music, though her dancing is so shake your booty going on and kind of stuff, but it's it's fun. I mean, I remember we had got the songs after we had watched the movie, and yeah, I loved it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Hugh Grant's character, he's kind of like the other guy in Wham! that's not George Michael. He's kind of like modeled after him a little bit, oh. like, you know. Pop is the name of the group in this movie versus Wham. Uh, you know, and the other the other guy was supposed to have gone on to some big career and I don't I don't know the other guy in Wham. <laughs> I do like the sequence of when they're writing the song and then they have to uh they're singing the song to the doorman. <laughs> That's funny, like the cloud above my face. <laughs> it's 
clown, not clown. Why would you have a clown above your bed? I think that's funny. Also, another thing I like, I thought of, at the end of the movie, there's, they do the whole video again, but it's got like the little pop-ups yeah. of the stuff that happened, which, you know, they actually do that kind of stuff on VH1. MTV or, yeah. And like, so it, that's kind of interesting to see. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I do think the, the songs on this are, are pretty good. I like the scene where they're recording the demo of the song. Oh, yeah. And when it's her turn to sing, she's like, uh, my throat's closing up. I'm like, it's like anaphylactic, <laughs> which is relatable because like every time I go to record something, whether it's a podcast or a song, that happens. And or I always think of this video. video. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you get the pop star girl that I guess she's kind of a combination of a, of a bunch of types of pop stars because you've got kind of like a little bit of Britney Spears, a little bit of Madonna, like with the um, bringing the Eastern religion into her music. And of course, I mentioned Shakira. I don't know. Who else had like that kind of status at the time? I don't know. It seemed like they mentioned somebody else, but... I don't think Taylor Swift had... No, no. I don't think so. I don't think she was... I think she was still doing country at that time. And actually, two days after this was released was when Britney Spears shaved her head. Oh, so, my... <laughs> I like all the, you know, like the songwriting process. <laughs> Drew Barrymore's character is kind of does her clicky pin a lot when she's thinking. Um, <laughs> and then there was a bit where, like every time she comes in, she like takes off her scarf. She's got like some pretty cool scarves and stuff, but every time she's taking off her scarf and her coat and stuff and putting them on the piano, it's like a baby grand piano or well, I don't know what kind of piano. But <laughs> <laughs> of course it's like, you know, really expensive and she's like putting her stuff on there and he's immediately taking it <laughs> off and she doesn't seem to notice. So there was that bit that was pretty funny. So her sister is played by Kristen Johnston from Third Rock from the Sun. She was hilarious. What was that one? Oh, when she got invited to the concert. And she's like, Gary, I'm going out! <laughs> <laughs> and of course, all his performances are great. Whether he's, you know, performing at the class reunion or at the amusement park mm -hmm. and he does his his um, hip thrust things <laughs> and it's hilarious and then he thrust a little too much on one of them at the back <laughs> uh, and I think like the singing is really good I mean you can tell there's like maybe a little bit of auto-tune here and there so I guess people that are sensitive to that wouldn't like it but and just, like, the banter between them is really funny, you know, because he's got, like, that dry mm -hmm. British humor. So, I mean, Hugh, Hugh Grant is probably one of my favorite, you know, leading men in a romantic comedy. Oh, yeah. Really, it's the, it's, like, all the little hip thrusts and all that stuff that's just... All his little dance moves, and I don't even know how they go, yeah, but... but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the playing on the keyboard part that always gets me. <laughs> Cora Corman with her big old Buddha. <laughs> you know, like her songs, there's one called "Entering Booty Town." <laughs> and what what did what did they say when they got it wrong? Welcome to Booty Town or something. <laughs> Entering Booty Town. I don't know which which is better. <laughs> <laughs> there was a she gave a lot of booty shaking <laughs> in some skimpy skimpy outfits <laughs> that was another funny scene at the concert when they're trying to shield the children's eyes <laughs> like you cannot be watching this and then here and she trying to uh get after her husband <laughs> who probably didn't want to come to the concert <laughs> right <laughs> Oh my, he's enjoying it now. <laughs> and letting the, the little boy enjoy it as well. <laughs> like, I'm not shielding his eyes. 
like her watering the plants like oh very badly. <laughs> that was a running thing. <laughs> like, how did she even get this? Like, I know she's filling in for a friend, but what? What? <laughs> I mean, why did her friend <laughs> let her do this? Because she was so bad at it. I mean, he's like, you can now can. Continue to kill the next plant after he done took one away that she'd just been watering forever. <laughs> Water going everywhere. I don't see how the windowsill or the floor or something in there isn't ruined. <laughs> okay, well, what did you think of Drew Barrymore's outfits? That's your area. Her outfits. Okay, look. This is not what she wore in the movie. This is maybe a call to scream i don't know because then she wears some kind of sweater and scream um she had like what striped shirts i think which i liked her outfits in the movie i mean there wasn't nothing they just noticed the scarves yeah yeah she had a lot of scarves but i, I think she was always wearing a striped shirt mostly i don't know how many different she well, is wearing us yeah she's wearing stripes I like little pinstripes, kind of. Yeah. So, I didn't have no kind of striped. I would have wore a striped shirt. <laughs> Look, and I, I, my earrings are pop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> it's got the black and white chick. <laughs> so, I thought, I'll try to match the movie a little bit. But I didn't have no striped shirt to go, so... I had a tie like that somewhere. Really? But I don't know. <laughs> this one was hey, but more that works too. <laughs> accessible. Yeah, that definitely works. Um, but yeah, I I liked her outfits. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look, I just had a thought. Okay, so the sister and them they run a a weight loss. What, what is it? Some kind of weight loss food company thing. <laughs> And I was just thinking about when <laughs> she invited him over for dinner and she is like just piling on the mashed potatoes <laughs> like <laughs> and she's like trust me you're gonna want to have more and then don't even do that for the husband like <laughs> just scans in the mirror <laughs> and then um, afterwards come to find out he didn't like the mashed potatoes at all what did he say they were oh dang that was a funny line I can't even think of it uh, yeah, I don't remember. So what would you rate this out of five? Out of five, it would definitely be a five for me. <laughs> well, if I was rating it as a romantic comedy, five out of five. But just in general, I'm going to say four hip thrusts out of five. <laughs> the hip thrusts. <laughs> so i guess that's it for this one until next time thanks for watching Bye bye <laughs> oh too much dancing in this movie